This is ABC 7 News at 6. About 80% of us have some form of gum disease, and despite the risk of losing teeth because of it, many people avoid going to the dentist. But now there is a pain-free way to treat the problem. ABC 7's Dr. Dina Dell reports in tonight's Medical Journal. Wonderful. Like many people, Arlene Carter didn't even know she had a major symptom of gum disease. I kind of felt that one of my teeth were loose. She was shocked when she got the diagnosis and knew she had to get the problem fixed quickly. Of course, brushing and flossing can prevent gum disease, but if you get it, it A, is a major cause of tooth loss, and B, it needs to be treated. But traditional treatments can be painful, usually involving a scalpel and stitches, and even pain. Well, now there is an alternative. Her dentist used a new procedure to treat her disabled gums. It's called laser-assisted new attachment procedure, or LANAP. LANAP is a method to gently pass between the gum and the tooth to vaporize and remove only the disease tissue. Traditional treatments for gum disease can be painful, usually involving a scalpel and stitches or scraping the gums. But the laser method promises patients a pain-free way to zap away the disease. They don't hear it. They don't feel it. If they were to feel anything, they might feel a little warm. First, a laser uses heat to strip away the diseased gum. The laser only seeks out infected tissue, which is a darker color than healthy tissue. Then the dentist uses a laser a second time to heat the area until a clot is formed, protecting the newly lasered tissue by keeping it closed. One of the nice things about this technique is we're only treating the patient once. For most patients, the laser treatment also means fewer follow-up visits and less time in the dentist chair. Arlene couldn't be happier with her results. The healing was much faster. Uh, there was no soreness in my gums whatsoever. I'm Dr. Dean Adell. All you need is a local anesthetic to numb your gums. The typical laser treatment takes about two hours. For more on this new approach to treating gum disease, log on to abc7news.com and click on Dr. Dean Adell.